Hello my friends, happy happy Wednesday. This week seems to be going by pretty quick too. So we are gonna get started with some phonics. So here we go, get out your clappers. Bounce them high. And wiggle them, wiggle them, wiggle them. Bounce them low. And wiggle them, wiggle them, wiggle them. Are you ready, are you ready? And here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N. O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Now I never will forget how to say the alphabet. All right, we're going to start with some phoneme segmentation, but today I want you to hop up and down for each sound that you hear. I was talking to Aiden on the phone a little bit ago, and his mom was saying friends are starting to kind of get a little stir crazy, a little wiggly, so we're going to get some of that energy out. So, when you hear the word, you're going to jump the sound. So if the word was pig, you would jump pig. I'm going to stay sitting because then you'll only see my legs. I want you to stand up. So stand up. Get ready to jump. You're going to say it and jump the sounds. Are you ready? Two sound words. Here we go. Hands on your head or you can just do the jumping. It's your choice. Ready? Oat. Oat. Say. S. A. She. Sh. E. If you're jumping, you're going to use your body to do it. Zoo. Z. Oo. Now three sounds. Loose. L. Oose. Goose. G. Oose. Peep. P. Eep. Peach. P. Each. Okay, four sounds. You should be getting in four hops. Here we go. Skip. S. K. Ip. Sweet. S. W. Eat. Bride. B. R I D and the last one coast K O S T that's got the blend at the end good job kiss your brain all right I'm gonna switch out the middle sound you can sit on back down I'm gonna switch out not the middle sound silly me switch out the first sound and put in a new sound you tell me the new word are you ready say cut change the K to B say lug change the L to T good say cube change the K to t. Say suit. Change the s to full. Say mule. Change the m to r. Say shut. Change the sh to k. And last one, say mute. Change the m to k. Nice work. Okay, we're going to do those silly words. Today is going to be animals on a farm. So types of animals you would find on the farm. So I'm going to give the silly word. You tell what the real word is of the animal that lives on the farm. Are you ready? I'm thinking of a word that rhymes with vickens. Chickens. I'm thinking of a word that rhymes with pals. Cows. I'm thinking of a word that rhymes with lorses. Horses. I'm thinking of a word that rhymes with wigs. <laughs> Pigs. And last one, I'm thinking of a word that rhymes with beep. Sheep. Good job. Nice job. Kiss your brain two times. <laughs> All right. So yesterday we started our work, do you remember, with which long vowel? Hmm. I hope you said you. And we were practicing it, U consonant E, where the, U, the E comes on the end to make the U say its name. It says U, U, U. But the tricky part with U is that it do, just doesn't say U. It also can say U. So pay attention to what your mouth is doing. Do the sound when it says U. Ready? U. Now do the sound when it says ooh. Ooh. Now here's what's tricky. I'm going to show you an adult way. We're not going to worry about spelling with this. I just want to show you because you do see it this way sometimes. Sometimes the ooh sound comes out looking like a double O, which is crazy because we learned about this long O in a different way before. So how can that sound be the same? But that's the way sometimes the adult way that you would write the ooh sound when you says ooh. But we're not going to worry about that. There's another way. Looks like this. 
And some friends might know that Beth says, ooh, it's making the same sound. E and W can say, ooh. But we're only going to focus in when it does U consonant E. So when we are doing our writing today, if you hear the ooh in the middle, you would use U consonant E. Don't try and think of those other ones. I'm not going to throw in any tricks. They're all going to follow this rule, the U consonant E, where the E comes on the end to make the U say U or OO, okay? So today, we're going to do some listening for vowels that say U or OO or vowels that say UH because that's the short sound we know. Short U says UH. Short U says UH. Every letter makes a sound short. U says uh, 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 uh. But we also know that U has another sound. It's the long U sound. We're going to practice both. So let's do the one that says U first. Ready? Long U says U. Long U says U. Every letter makes a sound. Long U says U, 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 U. Now let's do it with oo because that is true for it too. It can say oo sometimes. Ready? Long U says oo. Long U says oo. Every letter makes a sound. Long U says oo. And for some reason, I want to do this when I say that sound. Oo, oo, oo. Probably because it sounds like the word like oo, something stinky. So if that helps your brain to remember, you can do that. All right. So I'm going to give you a word. We're going to rainbow it out. It's either going to say you, you, you or uh, uh, uh. So you're gonna hold it big, you, 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 or it might say ooh, ooh, ooh. And I'm gonna hold it here next to me and do short sound, uh, uh, uh. And we we'll use our shoulders to remind us, hunch them up, you do it, uh, uh, uh. Okay, so there are no tricks. They're either gonna say you or ooh, or uh, uh, uh. Okay, after we check it with the rainbow. Hand out to the side. Are you ready? Say cube, cube. K, U, B, U, 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 U. Good job. Say cut, cut, K, uh, 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 uh. Next one, lug. Say it, lug. L, ug, uh, 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 uh. Some friends also we used to do at school, uh. Uh, uh, if that helps your brain, like you've got a belly ache. Next one, mute. You say it, mute. M, U, T, U, U, U. I wanted you to show me. U, U, U. Hopefully that's the one that you gave me. The word is cup. Say it, cup. K, up. Uh, 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 uh. <clears throat> the word is fume. You say it, fume. You, 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 you. And the last one, tug. You say it, tug. T, ug, uh, 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 uh. Good job. All right, let's do some writing with these. Now here's where it gets tricky. Yesterday, all the words had sneaky e. That is not what's going to happen today. Only some are going to have sneaky E. So you've got to know if it's saying you, you, you or ooh, 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 it's going to be sneaky E. If it's saying uh, 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 no sneaky E. So you've got to be a letter detective and listen very closely. All right, here we go. First word, mute. You say it, mute. Leak it out. M, U, T. Do your sound lines. M, Utes. Okay, make your marker talk or your crayon or your pencil talk. Mm. Utes. You have to decide. Do you need sneaky e? Mm. Utes. Three, two, one, show. I certainly do. The e makes the u say u u u. Mm. Utes. Mute. If I didn't have the E, this would say mut, mut. Totally different word. Go ahead and erase. Next one, fume. You say it, fume. Leak it out. Fume. Do your sound lines. Fume. Make your marker talk. Fume. 
you you can leak it out as many times as you need to you go back and double check your work three two one show did you use sneaky e you should have fume fume if i didn't have the e what would this word say i hope you said fum um fum okay erase Next one, the word is cup. You say it, cup, leak it out. K up, do your sound lines. K up, make your marker talk. K up, are you talking at home? Your marker should be talking. K up, do I need sneaky E? Hmm, keep writing. If I need sneaky E, it would be saying you, you, you. If I do not need sneaky E, it would say uh. K up. Three, two, one, show. Did you get it? So I'm going to say if I put E here, k, youp, cube. Do you drink out of a cube? No. What? You drink out of a cup. So remember, we always talked about at school one letter can totally change a word. That's why it's so important for us to be good readers and writers. So let's read it this way the right way. K up. Cup. And remember, I can hold the vowel sound in my mouth. K up. Cup. And it makes all those letters blend nicely together. Okay, erase. Next one, cute. You say it, cute. Leak it out. K, ute. Do your sound lines. K, ute. Okay, get to work. Do you need sneaky E? Hmm. Hmm. K, ute. Three, two, one, shell. Did you get it? So the E, whoopsie, I almost erased him. It's going to come on to make the U say you. K, ute, cute. Good job. Erase. Let's do one more. The word is tug, like I'm tugging on a rope. Leak it out. T, ug, do your sound lines. T, ug, make your marker talk. T, ug. Ugh. Three, two, one, show. Did you get it? So there should just be a short U, which means no sneaky E. T Ugh. What's the word? Tug. Very good. Erase. Clear your board. We're going to do a sentence, but for now, set your materials to the side because we've got to go over our sight words with my handy dandy board that Mr. Walker bought me. Okay, I put four new words up today. I'm going to pull them down to the bottom. We're going to do one at a time. Some of them are so easy. First one, what's the word? I. I want you to use your arm to spell. Ready? Let me put mine across here. Spell I. 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 Spell it again. I, I, one more time, I, I, say it three times, I, 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 ah, uh, so easy. Next one, and, let's spell, A, N, D, and, use your arm, A, N, D, and, make sure you're looking, A, N, D, oh, I went totally backwards, A, N, D, and, say it three times, and, 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 so we have I, and, What's that word? He. Spell it. H-E-He. -he. Again, H-E-He. -he. One more time. H-E-He. -he. Say three. He, he, he. Think. Last one. This one we practice a lot because we use it in sentences. You'll see this in books a lot too. Like. Let's spell. L-I-K-E. Like. L-I-K-E. Like. L-I-K-E. Like. Say it three times. Like. Like like. All these words are going to appear in your sentence today. You know what I realized yesterday? All the words were in order that you needed them, and I did not do that on purpose. It just ended up like that. Today's are not in order. These words are going to be in your sentence, but this is not the way you should write them. These are just up here as a resource, okay? So listen to your sentences. It's two again. Listen first. I like to play tug with the dog. 
He is cute and fun. Let me sit this down for a second so I can clap. Listen again. I like to play tug with the dog. He is cute and fun. Here we go. I like to play tug with the dog. That's the first one. He is cute and fun. He is cute and fun. Now let's count it. First one's I like to play tug with the dog. I like to play tug with the dog. So the first sentence has eight. He is cute and fun. Count it. He is cute and fun. The second sentence has five. So here we go. I like to play tug with the dog. I is a sight word. Like is a sight word. To is a sight word. Play. I'm going to give you that one because it is a sight word, but it's not one that we have um, gotten to to practice over and over. So I'm going to give you that one, even though that's one that some friends, their brains might know it. I like to play tug. Is that a sight word? Nope. Leak out tug. T ug. The hair on my board. T ug. With is a sight word. The is a sight word. Dog. Not a sight word. D og. I like to play tug with a dog. Do you see how important sight words are? Almost all of the words in this sentence are sight words. So that's why we've got to practice them and know them so we can read them and write them. Okay, I like to play tug with the dog. Next sentence. He is cute and fun. There is a hair hanging on the board. Can you see it? It keeps getting in the way. He is cute. Not a sight word. Cute. And is a sight word and it's hiding at the top. He is cute and fun. Not a sight word, but easy. Fun. Let me fix that line. Okay. I like to play tug with the dog. He is cute and fun. Pause me and write it. Get right to work. Okay, you're back. Are you ready? Remember, if I needed to use some of these as a resource, I can do that. That's why we have the sight word cards. All right, let's try this. Let's see if this works better than it did yesterday, me writing. I like. L-I-K-E, like. I like to, I gave you that one, play, tug, t, ug. Now, some friends might have wanted to do that because that's a skill we've been working on. That would be t, huge, huge. Does that make sense? No siree. So, I do not need sneaky E for the uh, uh sound. That's short you. So, I just need t. Ug. I like to play tug with is a sight word. The is a sight word. Dog. Not a sight word, but easy. D. Og. I'm going to use a period. He is cute and fun. He is. Whoops. That was a little sloppy. Beep, beep, beep. Cute. K. Ute. Is the U saying its name? K. Ute. It sure is. So I am going to add sneaky E because that's what makes the U say its name. Otherwise, this would say he is cut. Does that make sense? No. He is cute and fun. Fun. And that's a short U. Uh, uh, uh. So I do not need sneaky A. And I'm going to use just another period. You might have chosen to use an exclamation, and that's totally fine. Okay. I like to play tug with the dog. He is cute and fun. All right, let's do our checks. Four things it takes to be a good writer. Man, we should be pros at this by now. Are you ready? Capital letter at the beginning. Space between your words, punctuation at the end. My sentence must make sense. Here we go. Capital letter at the beginning. I did it with my I. And then remember yesterday we talked about our sight words all have lowercase except for I. This has to be a capital in my sentence. So I hope you made that change. If not, just make a fix to it. Capital letter at the beginning. Space between my words. Yep. 
punctuation at the end. I have a period for the end of, I like to talk, play tug with the dog, and he is cute and fun. So I need two. I hope you gave yourself two checks. You might have done that, and we would say, he is cute and fun, and that's fine too. Your sentence must make sense. I'm going to read my sentence. You read your sentence. Here we go. I like to play tug with the dog. He is cute and fun. And that's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, I forgot to give myself a check. Give yourself a check if you got that one. Very, very good. If you've got a board, go ahead and clear it. If you do not, just put your paper to the side. So, this week we are working on long U. We will do this again together on Friday. Remember, U is not one that we learned at school. So, this might take a little bit of extra practice. Moms and dads, naturally, the long vowels are always going to be trickier than short vowels because it re requires their brains knowing that extra rule about sneaky A. So, this is something that at home, if you want to make a uh, sneaky E or silent E, whatever you like to call it, chart that's got them able to read the words over and over again. That fluency practice is fantastic. It's always going to take a little bit more, though, to do these than when we do our CVC, our short vowel words, okay? So, friends, I will see you back in just a little bit for a math lesson. Mwah.